Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I want to thank you, Kermit, for that lovely intro. First, I've been introduced by Amphibious MC. Because you know what Amphibious means, that means he can be dull on land or water. I feel great, I feel great. I have a wonderful time being on the show tonight. I took my Marla to the airport. But while I was there, funny, funny, funny. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, I heard about this this beginning. You're the two guys I heard about that heck up from the box, aren't you? To the are, ladies and gentlemen, get good luck at them. Star skin crutch. Yeah, don't start with me, boys. Don't start with me. Hey, bro. Oh, well, yeah? Yeah, you know what? I figure out your style. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you work like Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck's not a comedian. Well, now just a minute here. I've been a successful comedian half of my life. How come we got this half? Look, did you come here to be entertained or not? That's right. What's right? We came in here to be entertained, and we're not. Oh, yeah? I'd like to see you come down here and entertain. You first! Ha ha ha, the onions, ha 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 ha. Don't pay any attention to him, folks. He's the ninth child, family of eight. Let me tell this story here. Hey, Burl! Oh, yes, was it, was it? You know what you're doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? You're staying too close to the audience. Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> how's that? You're still too close. Okay. How's that? You got a little more? How far back do you want me to go? You got a car? Let me tell you something. If you don't stop this right now, I'll have the usher throw you out. He can't. He's too busy. Doing what? Keeping people in. You're encouraging him. That what, that's what you do. You're encouraging him. That's what you do. That's what you do. You know, I got to mind to punch you in your nose. Please, not while I'm holding it. That's pretty funny. Oh, you can use it. I don't need your funny material, pal. I got a million funny lines in the back of my head. Yeah, how come they never reach your mouth? Gentlemen, would you please? Would you take it easy? You think I'm doing this for fun? Not so far. Eddie. Oh, I see. You think you can do better? I couldn't be worse. Oh, yeah? I dare you to both come down here and entertain. Hey, we should. Oh, yeah? You sing? No. You dance? No. Then you can get laughs? No. Then what would you do? Just what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, that does it. That does it. I'm gonna call the police. Good idea. You need all the protection you can get. <laughs> Don't, Woody. I had it with you guys. Now, I'm not gonna put you with you anymore. Not anymore. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Bro? Well, I'm gonna start with you now. How's it going? It's gone terribly. These guys have been picking on me ever since I got here. Well, can I help you out? Please, huh? Which way are you come in? Eddie, get out of here. I had it. I had it. Here we go again. Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please. But why is the rum gone? Why is the rum always gone? I hold Kermit Frog here. It's not that easy being green. I got a dream too. But it's about singing and dancing and making people happy. That's the kind of dream that gets you. It's better the more people you share it with. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I know. I don't care. I'll put down. Your underwear. What is the toughest voice in the country, either the Brooklyn or the Bronx? So I put them together, and that's how I got the voice of Bugs Bunny, Doc. Yeah, watch up, Doc. Watch cooking. Watch up, Doc. Watch up, Doc. All right, just remember, Fipo. One man's sunset is another man's dawn. I don't know what's out there beyond those hills, but if you ride yonder, their head up, eyes steady, heart open, I think one. Until you find out you're the hero you've been looking for. That's all, folks.